Good luck, everyone. Let's get to the randomizer and find out what happens in this break here where it's a winner take all in this thing. And let's see. Uh, in the gold bar rip, we'll start with the owner name random seven times. Then we'll randomize the years and stack the lists up side by side right here for you to see which years you have. Seven times through. Here we go. All right. Lucky number seven. Now let's do the same thing with the years. Seven times. Hope you hit something big. Here we go. Lucky number seven. All right. All right. What's it going to be? Is everybody with their years right now? Let's see what happens here. When we open up the graded note, who's getting matched up with the hit? And it is winner take all. Who? It's a Daniel M. Sandwich. <coughs> well, that's good luck for Daniel. That's got to be good luck. Got a Daniel M. Sandwich. All right, so here it is. This is a big moment right now, and I want to wish everybody good luck. What's it going to be with this great note? Which country is it going to be? Who's going to get the hit? What year is it? It's a 1940. 1940 China Central Bank. Oh my, China, or the, this is really cool, so. No one owns 1940, do they? Winner take all in the random, oh my gosh. The year is 1940. It's beautiful looking currency. Currency always looks real, really intricate and beautiful like this. Look at that. It says general manager. In plain English, it says 10 cents. 
How come everything's in English right here? How bizarre. You know, why, why, why is this in English if it's... I'm just so surprised that China's currency would ha have any English on it at all. Really? Anyway, I'm just very surprised. Um, and it's, a, it's really neat, yeah. I'll check into it, Mr. Mr. Akinsey. Uh, but right now, the, everybody's wondering, well, who's going to win? Who's going to get the hit? And uh, so let's do a random because no one owns 1940. And this is a huge random because not only is someone going to get the China note, but someone's going to get the certified gold bar that's in this package. So, oh my gosh. I'll be able to dig into that and let you know uh, as soon as we finish all this here. But yeah, no one has 1940. This goes back to 1950. That's the earliest date owned. So let's do a random here. Seven times three winners on top list after seven. No, 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 no. This is such an exciting moment, man. Oh my gosh. Lucky number seven. Troy B. Congratulations, Troy. Wow, you have hit, you struck gold, not only with the Bank of Central China <laughs> currency, but you have struck gold in a gold bar series two. Gold, matey. Uh, this isn't like the last one that had multiples. We saw the last one had three of these, but it, it was pr probably different weights. Let me open this one up and just make sure it is one. It feels like one. It looks like one. But I do want to kind of confirm that it is one. It sure is one. One gram. Nice going. Congratulations with your gram, with your gold bullion. A little bit of gold bullion. So you can see the, uh, the design and everything right here. Okay, so she's got a blindfold on, <coughs> almost like the Justice uh, Justice Department symbol or something of justice, you know, blind. Blindfold, often that, that's what that means, like it's justice, unprejudiced. 
What a beautiful piece of gold. Congratulations. Uh, way to go, Troy. Hitting in the gold bar break. And that's the last one of those we have for the evening. But we do have a lot of other great stuff coming up for you.